and I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink feel like I'm ready to bend. I'm a ten, so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Ricky, all of the Barbies is pretty. Damn, all of the Barbies is bad. It girls, and we ain't playing tag. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Blog, you will not believe what just happened. Girl, when I say God got me, and, ooh, my body is like, I still can't believe I look like this. Princess shall indeed grow in grace and beauty, beloved by all who meet her. But girl, like, I really can't believe I look like this. That is crazy. Like, he really, like, did my body. Like, I have the Coke bottle shape now. It's so dope. I love it. But let me talk to y'all for a sec. Girl, you literally won't believe what just happened. <sighs> okay, and I still have all of my birthday decorations up. I didn't film really me doing too much for my birthday, mainly because I'm sore, I'm still healing, and I kind of just wanted to do something intimate with a few people, nothing big, honestly, just because like I didn't <laughs> have nothing to wear, and last year I feel like was dope, and I could barely move, so I didn't want to do too much. Hold on, let me put it over here so I can have a little bit better lighting because this balloons are in the way but i just want to tell y'all about girl something that just happened to me in dallas traffic oh i just got my nails done too i went to nailed nail bar they're really cute i love them i got red toes and then i went and got my lashes done i'm feeling like a baddie body done looking good feeling good going to do good show done because we're going to beverly hills now if i'm gonna do good at that audition we got to look like stars but I'm also gonna have me a little drink too cause girl, I am parsh. Let me get into the tea. I'm headed home, right? Done with my errands for the day. Got my toilet paper and napkins. Ran my errands, feeling good. I wanted to go shopping, but just wanted to stop by the crib to take the dogs out. I need some herb because like, I really just cannot believe that just happened. I'm headed home and I have to merge the left so I don't miss my turn. And so I get in front of this truck. Mind you, I know that me getting in front of the truck, it wasn't a mean merge. It's not like I just got right in front of them, you know what I mean? But I put my signal on and had to get over. Let me get over, it's not a big deal. Get over in front of them and proceed to get over to the left turning lane. So I get in the lane, I know my back wood is really small, girl. And they are right on my ass, telling me as we're turning. So by the driving behavior, I can tell they are upset that I had to get in front of them. Okay. Oh, you, oh, you wanna fuck oh with me? <laughs> <laughs> what 
whatever, I deal with this every day, downtown Dallas, which is why every time I go shopping, I try to get on the highway and go north towards Addison, Richardson area to do my shopping. I try to get out of the downtown Dallas area as fast as I can so I don't have to deal with stuff like this. So get over. They're upset, obviously. Right as we're turning, they finally now have the opportunity to get beside me. So they get beside me, and then as they get beside me, they get in front of me. So yeah, okay, you're upset. And so now I'm moving over to, you know, avoid the confrontation, just get over, I'm not tripping, like I'm having a good day, I look good, I feel good, whatever, bye. What? Toodaloo, motherfucker. Wait, you, you And so they get in front of me again, and then swerve back over and start swerving and then get back in this lane. And I'm just like, and so I'm able to pass them and I'm like, ooh, you know what I mean? Like, ooh, you're so bad. Like, do you feel better now? The light turns green, we go, and they proceed to drive crazy in front of me. Like trying to like, not run, I don't know, trying to run me off the road, whatever, y'all doing too much. I'm gonna handle this this way because I just had surgery. I'm 29 now and I really don't have time and I don't care. So I'm gonna handle it this way. I'm just gonna call the police. Down number one. I'm calling the police. I ain't scared no popo, -po. call the popo. -po. And report you for reckless driving. Get behind them, get their license plate, call 911, report them for reckless driving. I let her know. She was like, do you want to pull over and make a report or just report this car for reckless driving? I was like, I just want to report them for reckless driving. So I'm going to exit and go a different way home, get off the phone with her, and I proceed to go a different way home. So I'm, um, I'm two blocks away from my house and I realize this gray truck is behind me. I'm like, this can't be the same gray truck. And I look, somebody in the passenger, somebody in the driver's, gotta be the same truck. So as we're driving straight, there's a lane, there's cars parked at the meters, but there's an enough spot for you to turn right in this right turning lane. So I jump in that like I'm gonna turn right and I let them pass me and I'm like, wow, they're following me. So whatever, I'm the right one. Get behind them, call the police again, and make you know let them know I'm the girl that just called about this car driving crazy in front of me. This car is now following me. I was able to you know get over to another lane and get behind them so I can get the license plate again, read it again for y'all, and make this another report. They're following me, so I'm you know behind them. Girl, they pull over into a, an establishment's driveway, drive-through way. It's like a drive-through, like you know whatever. And so they pull in that way, but I park on the curb side. You know, he rolls his window down. I think he throws one hand up. I don't even think he has two hands up, which is also why I'm not gonna roll down my window. I'm not gonna engage with you. And I'm also not about to be parallel to you. I don't know what you finna do, but you're not finna shoot me for this stupid mess. We, I'm not finna die because I had to get in front of you and now you're trying to follow me home. You're also not about to follow me home. You gonna fuck on me? You feel me? I'm not about to be looking over my shoulder wondering where this gray truck is, you know, whatever. But I'm not about to be worried about, oh, this gray truck has followed me home. I just had surgery. I I have my gun in my purse. I'm not finna pull it out and I'm not finna to, if I have to get go there with you, I will, but I'm not going to, you know, I got my little 380s, it's really cute. Shout out baby for getting me a new gun. But you know, I didn't pull it out at all. I didn't pull my gun out at all. I'm not stupid like that. I'm not going to, I know I have protection on me if it gets there. I know I got protection on me, so it's two of y'all with paper plates. Pretty sure some of y'all up to something. Behind them, we're making the second report that these guys are following me, and you know, I was able to get behind them. We're driving on back roads, and then they pull over on a curb, pull over to the side again to try to engage with me, rolls down his window. I think he throws up one arm again, doesn't throw up two. I pull and just keep driving and get in front and park. Not like park on the curb, like we're in a back road now. So we're kind of like in the middle. He's over to the side, I'm like in the middle of the street. So he's probably about like one car, two links, two links behind me. But he sees me on the phone. Like the whole time that we're, he's trying to engage with me, he sees me on the phone talking with somebody and the whole time I'm talking with the police. As he sees me talking with somebody, he pulls, and I'm in front of him, he pulls back, he reverses and swings his car around to go the other direction. And girl, tell me why God don't play about me and that's how I know these men were trying to hurt me. Motherfuckers! Nothing hurts, child. I am invisible! As he pulled over to go the other direction, a car was coming and he wasn't looking, got T-boned the fuck out of him. I wish I would have stopped and got it on camera. Yeah, I got you! I got you on camera! You on Kansas camera now! You ain't know that. Because 
Like, I was just so in shock. But, you know, I was on the phone with her. So it's all documented. Like, I was like, bro, they just wrecked. Like, I'm on the phone with her telling her, like, they just got hit. Like, karma's a bitch. Like, they literally just got hit. You know, let her know where they are. But I came back home first because, you know, I just feel safe at home. I'm not going to be driving around over there. They're not dead. I'm not going to, you know, run out the car and start running at me and try to shoot me or whatever. I don't know what they got going on. Leslie! Oh. 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 But so came at home, spoke back with the police. They called me. I called them back. I missed the call because I was talking with someone, and I called them back, let them know what I just told y'all. And thankfully, I had two phone call recording of me first calling, letting them know that somebody is trying to cut me off, run me off the road. Second time, this car is following me. Like karma is a bitch, and then you get in a wreck. That's what you get. Period, that's what you get. You should have been following me. Should have been minding your business. Now look, now look at you. Your whole day messed up. You done messed up your truck because you're so worried about somebody having to get over. Two seconds, something that took two seconds to mess up your whole day. And now you gotta get another car. And now you don't know where I live. So long, gay boys. And now I'm gonna make sure for sure I do not spend no time driving around downtown. Like, I'm over it. That's too much. Like, really? But I'm not even shocked, like, because this stuff happens, like, y'all already know I've been shot at before with the road rage and, like, God really don't play about me. And that just showed me that right there. God literally intercepted that. I don't I don't condone, you know, people like killing each other. But when you put yourself in that situation, that's karma. That's karma, period. And all I can say is, y'all, let people merge. Let them merge. It's gonna take a couple seconds and then go about your day. Don't ponder too much on the fact that somebody had to get in front of you or, you know, little things. There's so many ways to release negative energy versus trying to hit somebody with your car or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, and then always, ladies, keep you some protection because you never know. This is a nice little Glock 380. Um, I had a Glock before, but someone lost it. My gun. So I had to get a new gun. But I'm gonna take my dogs out and I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Later that day. <laughs>
fascinating women. So my faja is really loose at the top, so that's the only reason why I have my waist trainer If at the top. If your faja is tailored to your stage 2, I wouldn't recommend doing that because over compressing your abdomen is not good. And then I decided to go ahead and keep the faja that my doctor gave me only because his name is stitched on it. So I figured he put a lot of time into these faja specifically, so I decided to just keep this one. And but he's still poking. Poke, 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 poke. <laughs> well, I wanted to show y'all what I eat for the day because I know everybody's always eating. Sorry, I cleaned my screen. I don't know if it was a little bit dirty a minute ago. I apologize. I'm still getting it together. I'm feeling a lot better today. Every day is better. But I gotta eat because I need to take my antibiotics, my vitamins and stuff. I still got my birthday sign up. I didn't even let y'all know it's my birthday mainly because I was just kind of, it was a, I didn't really feel like care to do anything. I just got my body done. That was good enough for me. And I got a lot of things lined up too. I wanted to show y'all what I eat because I know everyone's always eating avocado toast or going on diets and stuff. Macaroni with the chicken strips. Uh. And me personally, I didn't go through all this pain to lose the fat that I just transferred. So I believe in feeding the fat the original way by eating fatty foods, lots of carbs, girl. Okay, look, I've been killing these cupcakes. I need to kill that cake. I don't know, something about, it's only been sitting out for about like three days now. I'm gonna get rid of it tomorrow. Something about when it's room temperature, the cupcakes and the cake just tastes so good. It's like so moist. So I've been killing them. And then I also got me some breakfast from what are, Norma's Kitchen, Nora's Kitchen or something like that. Let me see, Norma's Kitchen, Nor Norma's Cafe. Girl, I got me a chicken fried steak breakfast. I'm gonna start dieting and eating avocado toast and all the other little foods when I feel like my body is set in. But right now I'm feeding the fat as much as I can. I got a lot of stuff too. Let me show y'all what I got. I'm not trying to eat no avocado toast every day, egg whites. No. And even after my body is healed it, you know, set in and I fed the fat good enough, I still don't feel like I need to like eat avocado toast. I don't even like avocado toast. But I got some stuff for me and my boo-boo. I got some cake. And some biscuits and gravy. And check out Norma, she hooked us up with the jelly. I look a mess, but I really don't care. I got my nails done, I got my lashes done. So let me show y'all everything that I got. It looks really good. Norma looks like she got some soul in her. Wait, I got two chicken fried steak breakfasts. I thought I got, is that what I ordered? I'm so confused. French toast breakfast, a country fried steak breakfast. They gave me an extra breakfast? Or did I get two of them? Oh, I got two breakfasts. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go. And my biscuits for my biscuits and gravy. I've never seen no biscuits like that before. Those look like rolls. Wait, what is that, gravy? This is what I got for breakfast. I got... French toast with turkey sausage, my chicken fried steak breakfast with hash browns, a biscuit, and I got an over easy egg. And then I got my guest, another chicken fried steak with hash browns, scrambled eggs, and a biscuit. It looks like a roll though. And it comes with gravy for my biscuits and gravy. And then I got a slice of some chocolate pie. And then Norma hooked us up with some jelly, utensils, syrup. Yeah, we're gonna dig in. Fuck that avocado toast. <laughs> Chocolate cake. I'm not gonna lie, I already took a bite and it's really good. <laughs> I mean, avocado toast, where? I'm gonna feed the fat. This is honestly my last day picking out. 
because it's been a week of me picking out, eating the fat. That's really good. Oh my goodness. Wow. That's good. This one is not right. I'm gonna start off with my appetizer, biscuits and gravy. I don't know if this is all gravy. It is. So first let's try the biscuit. I've never seen a biscuit like this before. Norma's Cafe. Check her out. Mmm. Mmm. What? Mmm. 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 Damn, that's good. Oh my goodness. Why did she do that? Mmm. 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 I love her picnic napkins, they're cute. Ooh. That was good. Mm, mm. I don't know why she did this. That's like the best biscuit I've ever had in my life. Damn, I think that is the best biscuit I've ever had in my life. I know it is. Mm. All right, we're gonna give that a break. Is. Chicken fried steak with over easy egg, hash browns, and another biscuit. But I'm gonna save this biscuit for later. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna use the gravy that's already open. I know this chicken fried steak gotta be good, like no way around it. I just love an over easy egg. I love the yolk, the way the yolk just be running everywhere. So good. I can't wait till my small compression garment comes in the mail. It's supposed to be here today. Because I, my swelling is going down. So I am now moving to a small waist garment. I wish I could sit down, but I can't. Mm, that's good. That's really good. Not as good as the biscuit, though. That biscuit made me drop. I'm always have some salsa. This is really good. She gotta be making buku money because this plate was only $11.99. She gotta be making hella. People gotta be coming in for this $11.99 plate like, all day. Damn, why have I never ate here before? French toast. With some turkey sausage. Mmm. They didn't put none on it, so. But they did bring this maple syrup. And I don't know. Like, this is why it's good to have long nails. Oh, never mind, it didn't work. My boo thing. The next day. What's pop lock and drop in, pretty and pay gang? It's your girl checking in with you. So I just woke up. It is like 6:49. I probably woke up like about an hour ago. I've been laying around in bed, not doing anything much. Really, just been bumming around the house. I'm feeling a lot better. I'm pretty much. I feel like I'm pretty much healed. I mean, I was feeling healed on my first day of surgery. Like, of course, I was in pain, but I was moving around, and I think I'm superwoman. So I'm watching my friend's dog right now. So I have four dogs in the house. <sighs> I mean, it's cool because, you know, honestly, like I have a good amount of space in my apartment plus the balcony. So it hasn't really been bothering me. And, you know, I'm just really good with dogs. That's who you probably hear making all that noise of Sebastian chewing on his well. He's really cute, though. He's a Frenchie. I personally could never own a Frenchie because they make too much noise for me. They shed. And I just, I don't understand. I feel like my Papa Cairo should be worth $5,000. 
$1,000. Like, miniature schnauzers are the shit. They don't shed, they don't stink, they're hypoallergenic. I don't understand why Frenchies are worth so much and they only live about a year and they have all these health problems. He's so cute. He literally, when you walk him outside, he's like about to pass out. Like, he just can't breathe. Be careful, baby. I'm about to clean up. Tomorrow's Friday. My friend is getting out of jail. I'm gonna be picking them up from jail and it's also their birthday tomorrow. I was gonna order a whole bunch of stuff from Amazon and do something nice for them, but... Wait, this thing is out already? I'm so confused. Hello? Hey. You're out? Yeah, come pick me up at the fine spot. <laughs> well, damn, I wanted to clean up. Okay, so my friend's got out of jail. I'm gonna take this little bottle of whiskey. Oh no, because I'm actually gonna drink this. Eva Williams, girl. Okay, so don't judge me. If I'm in the house chilling, I'm gonna buy me a cheap little liquor. I'm not gonna cash out. Now if I go out with friends and stuff, I'll buy us a nice bottle. But if I'm at the crib, girl, $30, make you holla. But anyways, it's my BBL. Um, personally, I feel like, yeah, you can wear your Faha for two months. After two months, wearing it for three months and stuff, you're tripping. Honestly, I personally feel like after a month, going into your month and a half mark, your body has already set in. Your results are what they're gonna be. It's not gonna get any better or any worse. Um, if you, you know, if you're doing your massages and you know, eating right and stuff like that. Personally, from my first video, after a month, my results I feel like were what they all were. They weren't, my stomach wasn't as snatched because my first video, I did not get my massages like I was supposed to. I literally was, cause it was so painful. The member, the first lady that did my massages was so painful, I didn't want to get massages anymore. So my, I had a little lump in my stomach. So the second BBL, the little, my incisions, I also had a keloid on one of my incisions. He got rid of the keloid and he got rid of the little lump that I have. So, you know, the massages that, that I got, now my belly, I could see the difference from me getting my massages to not getting my massages. But I personally feel like my results have already set in. I feel like all I could do now is just continue to compress my waistline to keep to compress that motherfucker. Keep it an extra small because I do want to have an extra small waist. But I feel like my butt and my hips and everything is already set in. All I can do now is just eat. I've been eating a lot still because feeding my feeding the fat that I do have. I'll be dieting here soon. Probably next month is when I will start my diet process. On my three month mark, I've already set me up an appointment. I'm gonna go back to Dominican Republic for a checkup. And I'm also gonna go if I need to get any revisions. For that, no, I'm not getting a third BBL. But for instance, I feel like you have to go from multiple BBLs to get a certain shape. You won't get the de desired shape you want from your first BBL. I feel like my first BBL was to give me butt. My second BBL was to give me hips. And when I go back the third time, I'm not getting a BBL, I'm getting revision. So you'll hear sometimes people have dips, little like, you know, dips and, well, dents, little dents in little places. And the fat grafting, sometimes the fat will soak into your body. And sometimes you can have little dents here and there. So after my three month mark, when I'm fully healed, I'll see how my body looks. As far as my hips go, I have enough butt. I don't want any more butt. I don't want it to be too big. But as far as my hips go, I want my hips to be nice and, you know, round. I want that nice nice hourglass shape. So in case there are any dents in my hip and the fat, you know, dissolved, I'm gonna go and get get it filled in. So I'll probably just get have to get a little bit of thigh lipo or a little arm lipo, and then he'll go in there and fill in the little spots that I have. And I'm pretty sure the um, healing process will not be as bad as it would be compared to getting a whole BBL, you know, 360 lipo, all that stuff. It'll just be a little bit of something and then he'll go in there and just fill in little dents or whatever that I may or may not have. So three month mark, I'm definitely going for a checkup because I want, I want this, you know, hourglass body that I want. And if I do have any dents or, you know, little like one hip is different than the other, I'm gonna go get it filled in. And then third time is a charm, it will be perfect then. I'm really excited for, to see how much my waist is compressed. I did fit into an extra small waist trainer. I'm gonna list this waist trainer in my description box. I love this latex waist trainer. It was only $36, $30, $31, $32 on Amazon. This is the perfect waist trainer, I feel like, for compressing because I did not get a stage two Faja. I decided to keep the Faja that I was given to save money and personally I feel like you don't need to go buy you another Faja. You can go either get the one tailored that your doctor gave you or keep that Faja and 
start compressing your midsection with a waist trainer. But as y'all know, my friend just got out of jail, needs me to pick them up, so I'm gonna go ahead and head over there and I'll check in with y'all here later. Hey y'all, it's Pop Lock and Drop and it's your girl Elijah checking in with you. So I didn't check in with y'all yesterday after I picked up my friend from jail because I was just hanging out with them and spending time with them. Today is their birthday and it's also Friday, so I'm about to get my butt up, clean up the crib. It's not that dirty, but I always like to start off my day with a clean crib. And then I'm also going to clean off the balcony because I'm watch still watching my friend's dog. They're gonna pick, them pick him up today and he's been shitting all over the balcony. So I'm gonna get that cleaned up. And I'm actually gonna time lapse this video because I don't really wanna talk too much. I kinda just wanna get this done. And we still I am so to the end still of the same ones. Big up. You already know. On the yeah, it's a trend, you don't know. Yeah. We it. still the same ones. When it come to chats, we don't take none. Cheese. Bad man, Jamaica. Trinity Tang, global sensation. Mob until the day come, yeah, till the day come. Red, white, black flag, daddy gon' shake some. Green, yellow, black flag, rude gal, shake some. We don't want no drama in this, so don't make none. Mob until the day come, yeah, till the day come. And the day came, still thumbing through the night, chance of light rain. I guess I really gotta show you about this Trinity Kang. I guess this is how it is when you front the island man. So I took a flight to Tobago, FOG down. Man's on the ends, Londonville to the sea town. Remo with a ski man, a beamer with the T down. And she wanna know me, tell me, baby, what you need now? A little buddy. Bubble up your pot, mix the curry, go dummy. Whole fam, ice on no funny. From the veil to the veil, shout out Teddy, that's the tuggy. Still the same ones. When it come to chats, we don't take none. Bad man, Jamaica. Trinity Tang, global sensation. Mom until the day come, yeah, till the day come. Red, white, black flag, daddy gon' shake some. Green, yellow, black flag, rude gal, shake some. We don't want no drama in this, so don't make none. Mom until the day come, yeah, Mom until the day come. Say they want smoke when we see them, they don't say none. Yeah, they all talk on them stories they be made up. Really putting work, all them nights we done stayed up. Really from the islands, whole fan from Jamaica. Yeah. So. Oh, there it goes, my wax is ready. All right, so I was going to get in the shower, but then I was like, girl, I need to wax first, because I was hairy, you know? I've been sitting for a minute. My armpits look good, though. Ooh, they look good, I got my armpits. Look real nice. My arms are still tight from the light bulbs. That's why my arms look like that. But my cooter cat is pretty much good and clean. I'm gonna go and get the little fuzzies that are left behind. Yes, I, I'm waxing in my kitchen because it's just, you know, I use the oven to heat up my wax. And girl, let me show you. So this is what we've done. I got done what we've done. <laughs> what I've done already. But you see that? I know you see them hairs. Stuff we go through to be clean and beautiful. Let's see, This was a good pull too. And this one was the worst. Obviously, you see all that hair. Ah, oh, the stuff we go through. Well, I'm about to finish the process. I'm almost done. Ooh, that one was really good too. This one right here, this one was yikes. You know that hurt. That, ooh boy. That one hurt for sure. That was my lip. <laughs> that was the lip. I've been sitting with my cooter kit just to myself lately. Cause I haven't been able to get, you know, I, even know, I can't move. Let me get my wax out the oven. All I gotta do now is just clean up my cabinets right here. Just clean up the little fuzzies that I left behind, clean up inside the lip. I usually do it in the restroom, but I'm just gonna do it right here cause I've been needing to use my oven. I should get a waxing pot, but I have too many devices and too much stuff. I just, I'm gonna wait to get anything, buy anything else for the crib. I can get up in here, get this done. Oh, wait, let me clean up this right here, the little hairs. Okay, I'm actually probably gonna have to go to the rest. Wait, no, I need something to put my foot on. I need something to put my foot on so I can lift my leg up. Get up in there, need more light, I can't see. <laughs> Ooh, I could barely even like bend over, so it's kind of hard, but I'm getting it done. I don't like to be all hairy like this. So just yank it. The slower you pull, the more, the more it's gonna hurt. So just yank it. Ooh, ooh. Girl, a dress. This ass don't fit in jeans right now. <laughs> I can't, I don't even know what size jeans I wear anymore. Ooh, ooh. 
<laughs> oh my god, it's on the lip. I got this. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Mm. Oh my gosh. Fuck. I'm gonna go over it one more time because I need to clean it up. Oh, I can't get this one. Ah, ah. Next. Other side. Almost done. I used to wax my booty hole, but it'd be so hard to get back there and see sometimes. So now I just shave it because the hair back there be so fine. I cannot get this one off. Oh, bitch. Ugh. 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 God. Okay, now I need to get it. Can I get it? Or do I need to heat it up a little bit more? Okay, I think I could still use this wax. I think it's heated up enough. I just need to clean the inside of this lip. Let this dry, yank it off, and I'm gonna get in the shower. I'm gonna wash my hair. <coughs> Go to North Park, find a couple little dresses, some sundresses. I'm not gonna be wearing any pants yet because I don't wanna be pushing all my hips. I'm not risking losing these hips at all for nothing. Ah, come on! Mm, mm. Got it, got it all off, even though it's still wet. The hair is gone. All right, let's get in the shower. All right, y'all, now I'm gonna straighten my hair. I straightened my hair with a Duval titanium straightener, and I'm using it on the 270 degrees Fahrenheit. Whenever you have 613 hair, you do not, hold on, girl. Okay, sorry, the TV was on. But what I was saying is whenever you have 613 hair, you don't ever want to put the highest heat on your hair. Always do the lowest heat. So 270 degrees Fahrenheit is the lowest heat for this straightener. And it honestly straightens perfectly fine. It actually straightens better because it's not burning the hair. See, feel nice and slick. And I already did my leave out. Well, I'm gonna do this leave out back here. My hairstylist left me some leave out in the back so I could put it in a ponytail. It didn't leave much though, like literally just a little bit. I need to get a new vanity. This vanity is done with, or I need to get it painted. Paint is horrible. I haven't been outside in forever, so I'm excited to get out the house and go shopping and look for me some dresses that fit. I'm not gonna be getting any jeans because I'm not trying to have anything sitting on my hips too tight as for right now. But once I'm fully healed, then I will do that. Get some jeans. You see how nice it straightens? And I didn't even wash my extensions, I just conditioned them. Cause I already washed them so they didn't have any product in them for me to wash anything out. And it makes it silkier too when you do it on a lower heat. Cause on a high heat it's just frying your hair. And I learned that the hard way, I spent $800 on these bundles. So I'm definitely trying to take care of them. I was going to get some 40 inches, but I decided I need to start saving my money for when I get my new car and for when I open up my shop. So I've been being trying to be, well, I'm always, I've always been financially responsible, but just budgeting more. I may or may not go out tonight because I shouldn't be sitting down yet. And I don't want to risk messing up anything. My poom poom looks so pretty after being waxed. Let me blow dry because some of it's still wet in here. Oh, it's not that wet. I know I fucked up and I know I did wrong, but you don't supposed to do that shit. I should put a heat protector in my hair, but I honestly do not have one right now. So I'm gonna go to the beauty supply and get one. I need to get heat protectant, I need to get oil, I need to get edge control, and some got to be spray because I don't have any hair products right now. I left them all at my other apartment and what I did have, I ran out of. Thankfully, my extensions are still very moisturized, so that's good. And I figured out a trick to keep my lashes on. Cause girl, ain't nobody trying to go every two weeks and spend $150 on, on a fill. So when you start realizing that your lashes are coming undone, I get my lash glue 
this lash glue right here. Dab it on the end of my tweezers. And then just go in from the bottom of the root right here and touch it up. That way I don't mess up her work, but I also get longer time. <laughs> like I get, I get to keep her work, you know, longer than every two weeks or every week. Like ain't nobody trying to do that every week, spend $150. So I just do it right on the root where it's getting loose at. See, now it looks way better. They're all lined up again. I'm gonna spray it. Now wait first, let me grip it. There. Now they won't be moving around. And I pretty much just touched them up myself. I was tired of looking at them, flipping around and stuff. I paid 250 for these. They gonna last me more than two weeks. All right, next. Something in my brain causes stress So come and make me feel different mm -hmm. You wanna hold, don't hold back oh, Your little drama's got me mad And I don't need to tell you facts You know I always want you back So this is the OOTD for today. The hips are definitely hipping. It looks really, really good. I just threw this on real quick because I still have my waist trainer and I threw on my Doc Martin sandals that I got from DSW, designer, shoe wear, whatever. And yeah, just this. Shout out Doc, he really hit them hips. I love it. And you know, the booty is booting for sure. Ding. But yeah, so I love it, love my results. Loving the, I'm just loving the whole. <laughs> hey, Sebastian, quit. 
I'm loving the hourglass shape. But I'm about to go run some errands and go shopping because I don't have any clothes that fit me. Oh, girl, sorry. I don't have any clothes that fit my new shape right now. Of course, I have dresses that fit and they look really, really good. Like, I'm so happy that I decided to get the hip because the hip, like, makes a huge difference when it comes to me wearing my clothes. So, loving it. But I'm gonna go ahead and get on the road. I need to go get my car washed. I need to go drop off these things at Kohl's from Amazon. And then I also need to go get a gift for a friend because it is their birthday today. Shout out to my cancers. So, and then, and I'm also gonna meet up with my homegirl Tati. She's gonna go shopping with me. So, girl, let's go. <laughs> oh, I just got to Kohl's. That's hot as fuck. About to return this stuff from Amazon that I don't need anymore. Do y'all shop at Kohl's? Hi. Which way is the Amazon stuff? Cool. I want to just walk around a little bit, man. It's going to be a minute. Oh, whatever well, you want. You can go ahead yeah. first. I don't mind. You got a quick one? Okay. Go ahead. All right. Let me scan that QR code real quick. Boom. There it is. Let me give you a front out. I know you don't care, but. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, so process it and you can be out the door. All right. That's how it works. Okay, and then this one. Let's talk about working with more production, right? Yeah, there we go. I right. know that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know that's the right. The silence is golden. I know Literally. That's right. Some people actually want me to care what the shit they bring. I'm like, I don't even really care, man. Right. That's your business. Wait till you get to be my age. I'll be 51 next month. I stopped caring like 25 years ago. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So this is gonna be this. this is gonna be these Any amount of influences I get in here returning all the same shit, it's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> I already know it. I turned this webcam in because it didn't make me look good. I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay, um, so that goes. You with know why you don't look good? Because you don't go to the fucking zoo. Right? There you go. Okay, <laughs> so it's this. Ain't no no model support is gonna help you. <laughs> that part. Okay, so this goes with that. Oh, that's that too. That one's a two. Oh, where does that go to? Okay. Oh, 
most of them too. I don't know. This one is this. That goes together. Okay, I believe that goes with that too. And then this is the last one, and I'm out of your hair. babe so i just got back in the house from running my errands i'm about to show y'all the products that i got from the beauty supply that'll hopefully help you know keep my hair laid and slayed to the gods and then i'm gonna take my dogs for a walk so i did tell y'all that i was celebrating my friend's birthday today but they decided they're not gonna celebrate until tomorrow because they have a lot of things that they have to do today and that's perfectly fine because <laughs> i wasn't ready anyway so i freaking love this dress on me it spits me so good let me show y'all what i got from the beauty supply let me show y'all i got me some earrings from the beauty supply this is about the only kind of fake jewelry that i will ever wear is earrings mainly because it's just i lose them so easily the girl gotta have the earrings next i needed some advice on what i should use to keep my leave out staying because as you can see my leave out it keeps moving so this girl told me while i was in the beauty supply she's like you need a stick and i was like well girl put me into the directions of the sticks because i need a good stick okay and i really like this one sweet peach and it's with biotin and i need biotin for my hair because i do have blonde hair and it's a hair stick it's 24 hour extreme hold and my hairstylist does be using a stick but yeah so i got this stick true edge pink like why would i not want to try it next i got some heat protectant spray this is the same brand as the stick that i got and this has keratin in it and i know keratin is really 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 good for your hair i'm gonna try this out and see how it works next the lady who told me about the hair stick told me to also get this because when this dries out it could possibly move and so if you spray it with this this will lock it in and it will not move at all so i also got me the fantasia liquid mousse firm hold spritz hairspray for my frizzies and so everything that i do will stay in place i got me a scraper for my eyebrows my eyebrows are microbladed so i don't have to do much to them so i just get me one of these little scrapers you know clean up around my eyebrows and then i also got me some lip pencils the what brand this is absolute new york in malted chai it is a perfect pair the duo it has a lip liner and then it has the the light color in the middle and i loved this one so i went ahead and got two of them and then i also got this lip gloss to put in the center of my nude lip because i love a nice liner with a nice nude gloss in the middle this nude gloss i love this one i've used this one several times then i also got me some hair oil for my hair i got the care wait yeah care care this looks like it's gonna work i read the directions too so i'm gonna try this out for my hair to keep it nice and silky smooth after i'm done straightening it but that's all that i got from the beauty supply now i'm gonna chill and let my apartment cool off because girl it's hot in here it's like super hot and i'm just gonna relax and wait for my friend to get done running their errands so i can see what they want to do for their birthday so many cancers this year and i'm also about to put my faha back on i do have my waist trainer on i have my extra small so i'm gonna just smoke some weed edit some footage check my email and relax and drink the rest of my margarita Hey babe, so before I slick my hair, oh, I gotta put my faja on because the in, inside of my thighs are just rubbing against each other and it just, oh, it hurts. Like, it hurts, 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 hurts. I understand. I hurt so bad. Like, I mean, I do understand because I did have thigh lipo, but yeesh. <sighs> I can't wait to go back and get thigh lipo again. I know you're like, what? But girl, girl, I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and get that thigh lipo for right there because now that I have all this ass, like my thighs rubbing to get against each other, it's just too much friction. So I'm gonna get thigh lipo again. That's the 
that I'm going to use to fill in any dips or dents or whatever that I feel like I have in my hips or um, feel that I need to get filled in or whatever. Anyways, I want to show y'all my machine that I just bought for my massages. So a lot of y'all may or may not know I am a massage therapist. So I be doing my own massages and the reasoning is because in Dominican Republic, they literally charge $35 per massage. On Sundays, they charge $50 for massage. Girl, out here in Dallas, they charge $85 for a lymphatic massage. I will be damned. Dominican Republic does a great job. So no, I'm not paying anybody $80 for $85 for a massage that's gonna last 30 minutes, no. So I decided to go ahead and buy the body sculpting equipment myself. So I've already had this wood. This right here is super, super, super important to have. I like this tool because wood therapy is really good after lipo. You can go like this on your stomach with it. And then the plus is you can also go on your back and do it. So I love this tool, I've had this one forever. And then I also have my, I also have my roller. I personally don't recommend getting this one. If I would have known better, this is the first roller I got for my first BBL. It still works really good, but personally, I would recommend getting the wooden one. They have a wooden one, and I recommend getting that one instead of this one, but it's, this one still works good. So these are manual handheld things you can use to sculpt your body and for your lymphatic draining and to keep your, make sure you don't have any knots, any lumps and stuff like that. I went ahead and invested in this equipment. I saw this, let me see if y'all can actually see it. So I saw this at the massage, at my recovery house in the massage room. I decided to go ahead and buy one. That way I can do my own body sculpting since I'm already licensed in massage therapy. It's not that like rocket science in order to do this. So I bought the machine from Amazon. And then I also bought the Aquasonic Ultra Zell Ultrasound Transmission Gel. Hold on, did I buy, is this transmission gel too? Okay, so this is cavitation gel. Okay, so I bought the Ultrasonic Ultrasound Transmission Gel. You put this on that. And then I bought the Absonic Conductive Gel. This is for cavitation. This helps with cavitation, slimming devices, rejuvenation devices, pulse light devices, absent simulators, ab toning belts, muscle simulating devices, and electrolyte electrodes. And I also do have me an ab stimulator. I just bought one. And this is the gel that they put on, ooh, the gel that they put on this, I do believe. I'm gonna have to look into it, but here, let me show y'all what it is, what it looks like. So this is the Absonic Conductive Gel. That's for cavitation that I bought off Amazon. This is the machine that I bought off of Amazon. And then it's recommended to also get this with the machine. So I went ahead and bought the Aquasonic Transmission Gel too. And I'm gonna use these tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox it with y'all because it's been sitting there for about a couple days. I just got it, but I didn't wanna use it just yet. So let's see how it comes. Got some foam, duh. Oh, let's get the foam out first. You just pick it up, or oh, I'm gonna have to flip it. Another one that I was gonna get, it was about maybe a hundred dollars more. It came with four pieces. This one only comes with three pieces, and you don't need four pieces unless you like just have a body sculpting business. Then I would say go all out and get the four piece ones. But so it comes with 
Here's one of the pieces. And then it comes with this one. And it comes with the smaller one. And then I believe this is the cord. And then this is the machine that turns on. So let me get all of this stuff out of the wraps so I can actually see it. So that's what this looks like without the wrap. Not too bad, that's kind of cute. And then got the plug. This is what y'all saw uh, if you watched my last vlog, my post-op vlog, vlog. This is what you saw him rubbing on my stomach when he was a girl. When I tell you it felt, ooh, it felt crazy at first. I'm pretty sure, ooh, I'm pretty sure now it'll be a lot better. I'm super excited to use this stuff though. So there's that one. And then it also comes with this one. I'm sure a lot of y'all have seen this one with the four points on it. It's a nice size too, so I really like that. I'm not playing about this body this, this time around. And then it also comes with a smaller one. So that's cute. Then it comes with this thingy, which I think I know how this goes. I'm pretty smart. I pretty much figure out shit on my own. Okay, I lied. I gotta read the instructions because I can't figure it out. <laughs> oh, okay. So it is pretty simple. It just goes like this. But, so I had it upside down like this. But it's going to be like this. Excuse my vanity. I know I'm getting a new vanity. I'm going to, I'm either going to get a new vanity or I'm going to get this painted. Trust me, I know it's a hot mess. But it goes like that. I had it upside down. And then all of these tools go in it. They have little pockets for like everything. This one will go right here. Like that. And then this pocket holds this one here. Just like that. And this is the bug. It is a three head. So I'm going to need a three head extension cord. And I don't think I have one. Figure this out. Plugs into the back. And then all of these clearly plug into the sides here. So I'm put this one. So excited to use this. See what was how the results turn out. Bet. So now I have my cavitation machine. So many wires, but that's okay. Plug it up. Okay, so I just turned it on. Okay, so I'm gonna peel off this piece. Okay, so it's got the modes, the cavitation, the time. And shows what it's doing. So there we go, we got our cavitation machine set up. Super excited to use it. I'm going to figure it out off camera because I just don't want to sit here and do all this like right now with y'all. So I'm going to read the instructions or just go on to YouTube. I'm actually just going to go to YouTube and find the YouTube video for it and see how it works. I'll talk to y'all here later.
Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.